The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. It was a Hatzala volunteer in Bnei Brak who came to very Chosh of Yid in Bnei Brak, and he told him that you said over this story in the shul that happened 2,500 years ago. I'm going to tell you a story that happened last week. He said, I got the dispatch that a car flipped over on the road between Beersheba and Yeruch. I wasn't in the area, but my friend was driving in the opposite direction with his daughters in the car. As soon as he heard, he sped to the scene. My friend saw the car upside down, crushed, and inside was a woman whose body was completely crushed, bleeding from many different orifices. He knew there was no hope of saving her, but he looked in the car, and next to her there was a boy, the age of 10, who looked shocked, but he was unharmed. So he gently took this boy out of the car, and he laid him down in the seat in his car until the ambulance arrived. He laid him down in the back seat, and he, his children were there, he whispered, keep an eye on him, make sure that he doesn't move. He told his daughters, I'm going to go back to the mother. Although her vital signs were very faint, there was no way she could be pulled out of the car in time to save her life. My friend guessed that she had most had 10 minutes left and he couldn't be here for the boy to watch the mother die in front of him. Despite, maybe because, the boy, who was not a firm boy, seemed to grasp the importance of this moment and they asked the girls if they had a keeper in the car, Daddy Amak. When they answered they didn't, he asked them if they could tie something to his head so he could dive. They found a cloth diaper and they tied a cloth diaper to his head, bandana style, and then before they could react, he leaped out of the car, he ran towards his mother, whose body was shattered between the seat and the steering wheel, and he burst into tears, screaming, Ima, Ima, don't go. I don't have a father. I'm your only child. Stay here. Don't leave me. In the meantime, our solo members arrived at the scene, and they worked to cut the car apart, try to get the mother out, she was completely unconscious and bleeding profusely. And after nine minutes of this bir- these boys hysterical screaming, Mommy, Mommy, show me that you're still alive. Don't abandon me. The unbelievable happened. The mother's eyes fluttered open for a second before closing again. Now, besides, besides the impossibility of saving her, they kept on working with her and on her until the ambulance arrived. And the man said, earlier today, I heard that she's still hospitalized in the Beersheba hospital. But she's now classified, not as fatal or severely wounded. She's considered moderately wounded with excellent chances for recovery. Abay say, this here Baba Hift, a person should sit down and think, how did Avram Bavinu Davin? How did Yitzchak Bavinu Davin? When I went to the Amar Samach Pela, somebody said, what do you want? I said, I want a Chumash. He said, you mean a Tillam? I said, I want a Chumash. I want to read the episode of Avram and Sarah. In the Torah's own words. I want to go to Yitzchak Rivka and I want to hear. I want to read the Chumash. I read the Pasuk over Vayeta Yitzchak Hashem, Vayeta, Vayeta, Mamish. 
I was picturing a few chazals that I was aware of. I said, HaKadosh Baruch, help us, b'schus those tefillahs. Those are the tefillahs you have to learn how to emulate and how to bring about for yourself Yeshua's and Tetzlachis. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.